is one of the easiest ways to save water outdoors. Many of us forget to adjust those irrigation timers. Here with a few tips is Connie Spielman from Water Conservation in the town of Queen Creek. It's good to see you, Connie. Thank you. Thanks nice for joining you. us. Yeah, we've been, you know, told that like 70% of our water usage is outdoors. So what's the best way to reduce that, especially with the winter here? The easiest thing that you can do is to adjust your irrigation timer seasonally according to how much water your landscape is going to require at that time. Obviously, right now, for instance, is a great time to turn it down Sure. because it's cooler weather, your evaporation rates are not as great, so now would be a good time to go out and turn that down. And so once we get to it, how often should we adjust the schedule on this? It's pretty easy. We like to say at least four times a year. Okay. Real diehards will say once a month, but to keep it simple, oh. let's do it spring, summer, winter, fall. Makes it easy. Obviously, when you're overseeding, you're going to have to bump that timer up quite a bit because you're trying to germinate that sure. winter lawn. Sure. But once it's established, you've got to remember to go out there and cut that down. Okay, now what if I have no idea how to use this thing, which I know a lot of people are like, it can be complicated. It's definitely complicated. Water Use It Wisely has a great website. They have general instructions that will help you to walk through the, that process, and then at the end, information on how to contact the manufacturers where you can get all the instructions and you can download it yourself. All right, what if I really am bad at that? Are there any other options? <laughs> well, you're like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be honest here. Even with the instruction book, I'm like, what? There, there's a lot of people like you, including me. Okay. I, a lot of the municipalities and cities offer free workshops oh, okay. in many things such as pruning, landscaping, designing, wonderful information and they also have a class on programming your timer. So they give you a timer, it's hands-on, you literally learn how oh, to walk good. through the process. That's and that's good. a great way to learn. Somebody's actually doing. showing you. Now mm -hmm. I know in my situation I have different plants all over the place. I don't know which one needs more or less or hardly any. So how do you know that? Like this one needs this much, this one needs this? If you go to Water Use It Wisely, again, it's a wonderful website. They have a booklet called... Like this one? This one right okay. here. This booklet here. It's a it. Watering by the Numbers booklet and it's going to teach you how much water to put on your plants or on your lawn. Okay. The best thing to do and then in the back it'll have a general landscape watering guide that you can actually cut out and stick on the inside of your Something like that timer. that'll help you say, okay, this plant needs this much, this needs that. Right. And then you can figure it out and forget right. about it until spring. Because yeah. basically most plants are affected by overwatering, not underwatering. So, okay. But people see plants start to die and what do they do? They water. They pump up the water. Sure. Go back, pay attention, because it could be that you're overwatering during the good. wrong time of the year. Good to know. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. we always think it's too uh, not enough right. water. I think right. it's kind of good information there. So if you want to go ahead and get more about adjusting that irrigation timer and water use it wisely, please go to your website. It's waterusitwisely.com forward slash Arizona.